lights out there. Why Kenny and uh, Laurel and Hazel, I don't have. They're not out there. Is that which we know so? Right, so we have a phone, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I started the recording now. So whenever you're ready. Good evening, everyone. It is uh, Good evening. 7.05, and uh, the meeting has now come to order. Uh, review of the minutes, Jeremy? Got the minutes up there? Yeah, hold on. Sorry. We have September's minutes up. I do have November and December's, but they're not publishable form. Well, let me find. Okay, here we go. Come on, this bar is in the way. Give us the latest one anyway. All right. New York City. Hey, buddy. Well, the door is definitely closed. Hello. I don't know what's popping up across my screen. Yeah, just remember that buzzer is still not working. We are, we are, we are, we got a quote with an electrician. Um, I don't know if Carrie spoke to Brian at it. But, 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 all right, so you can see my the website, right? Yes. Everybody? Okay, so I'm going to leadership committee meeting agenda. Move it, yeah. No. So October, September are online. November, December are not yet. I think we might have January. I don't remember if we have January. No, I don't think we have January minutes yet. Um, these yet. are here for September. Um, they don't say draft, but because oh, no, they do. Okay. So, I don't know if anybody has questions or if they want to look at their attendance. Nobody was marked absent for that meeting. September 2022, 20, leadership. Are you guys still there? Yeah. Yeah. We're here. yeah. Motion to approve the minutes. I'll second. That's almost read. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Yes. Uh, the calendar, Jeremy? You want to do the calendar or the full board agenda? Well, I will do the full, full board agenda first. Okay. Uh, first thing is. Chris, were you able to confirm with Chris is in the meeting? Chris, were you able to confirm with um, with uh, Maestros? Um, he hasn't there? called me back. I left a message for Mr. Mayor. I can okay. call him. I don't know what time. Should I call? I'll call him now. I'll call him once more while you guys continue with the meeting. All right. If you want. Um, all right. So that's the first thing I would say. Let me pull up. Let me pull up a full board agenda. Oh, the, and I know a question with that is about recording the meeting. I know the recording last month was terrible. Um, I frankly am not happy about that. Um, but they are also the same recording company who set up the office. So I'll, I'm willing to give them one more try if you are. It's, a, it's But ultimately, it's up to the board, obviously, or the committee here. The recording from last time at the full board meeting, they had some different with the feedback and all that stuff, oh, which shot. can't happen again if we do these people again, you know. So are they going to have the same person? Hey, Jeremy, have we, yeah, but we have used them before. Out the we, well, might as well give them one more shot. And Jeremy, like... yeah, Joe, we have uh, we've used them before, right? They're the ones that have this set up currently at the office. The 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 live streaming is probably not. The quality is not as good right now, only because it's using probably using my Wi-Fi in addition to. But then again, I don't know. We'll we'll see. But I think the setup they did at the office has been great. Once once we got it down pat. Okay. I mean, Veronica, you're the one that helps me with this. What do you, what are your what's your opinion? My opinion is I motion that we give them a second chance. A second. 
Um, can can I, we just um, throw in there, Jeremy? Have you have you looked at Calvary Community Room? Is that someplace that we even have an option? You talking about Calvary Hospital? In the past. Calvary Hospital. Yeah, the community room that we had our full board meetings there a few different times. Yeah, I I, I can ask. Um, I just I back. know. I know at Einstein, I don't know if I shared that with the board. I think I did. Einstein, the restrictions are pretty high. I think they want everybody vaxxed. They want everybody has to wear a mask. So if, if don't, I, I don't even know if Calvary's even, I know last time, I know when we were asking throughout the pandemic, they're like, absolutely not. So okay. we can chat, we can ask you again though. Okay. Um, All right, so we'll give them another shot. Oh, she's on Sporting company, and just so everybody's aware, it's it's actually really. When we used to have these meetings recorded before, we paid eight hundred a meeting, which is actually really cheap compared to what I've found. This this company that we're using is even cheaper. I mean, I'm not trying to just justify their last recording. All right, let me make a motion that we uh, begin the second shot of recording the meeting. Yeah. I have a second. I have a second. Anyone opposed? <laughs> Anyone abstaining? Motion carries. Okay, full board meeting agenda. Let me share. Let me start typing. So we're looking at Thursday next week, 7 p.m. Maestros, unless we can get Calvary. Um, we do have a live stream option. Uh, Jeremy, I'm sorry. On that matter, I just got off the phone. Mr. Mayor has left for the day. He's going to be coming back uh, at the Masters tomorrow after one. Yeah. I'll give him a call. All right. So we'll reach out to Calvary in the morning and then reach out to Maestros at one. Um, so there's this link here. Once I publish the agenda, if you can check, make sure it's accurate. That would That's always helpful. Um, let me cancel this other. I'm in. Um, well, I'm going to just cancel this other meeting so I can free up my Wi Fi. Okay. Um, sorry about that. So, yeah, so when we, whenever we publish the agenda, whenever I email it out, please double check, make sure the title of the remote meeting, if you could. I mean, I try to triple check these things, but remember with technology, you forgot to cross one little T, it throws everything off. So, moment of silence. Gallery, I don't have anybody registered yet. Um, I don't know if we wanna take, if members of the public wanna inform us now. Um, Al, do you wanna see if anybody from the public now wants to speak in the gallery? Said yes, Diana said yes. We have two. Who said who's the first one? I got Diana. Bob. Bob Press. Okay, so same order as last time. Oh, with that, with that came a conversation or discussion concerns. I think even a bylaw amendment proposal that um, gallery session seekers do not cede their time to other members of the public or, or other, yeah, to other people. I don't know if you guys had a thought on that. The I have a thought. I think um, I don't necessarily have a problem with it. I might I, 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 I might be the lone wolf, but um, I don't necessarily have a problem with it. If someone has something to say um, and feels that perhaps someone else can convey whatever it is that they're going to be saying, maybe in a, in a I don't know in the best way or maybe whatever. I, I don't necessarily have a problem with it. So I just wanted to say, yeah, I don't have a problem with it either. I think we should limit it though. I, or, think, I agree with her. Um, or um, to limit her oh, I, I think if we, yeah. if we limit it to maybe one, in other words, uh, one person, one person, this way the person can have four minutes to, uh, to express whatever they want. You don't want to have it so that it's endless. Otherwise, you can have one person speaking for two hours. Um, exactly. So that would be my suggestion, and you know. Uh, I think we'll 
2010. Tell me we can't hear you. You're breaking up. Someone clever. Turn in your video off, Naomi. Not supposed to be. Yeah. What is Rebecca Ralph? You know what? I think someone needs to mute. Everyone needs to mute. I think someone's TV is on. Sandy, can you mute your? Hold on a minute. Uh, I just got back on. I was I muted myself. I think I think Veronica, you have to mute that room too because there's four live mics. Okay, I'm gonna mute it. Yeah, I still can't hear you. Can can you guys hear? Veronica? Who's talking? I don't I don't hear anyone. You can't hear her on this end. Okay. I'm gonna send an email out with this the correct information. Maybe if she wants to call in. Or she could just call this I guess somebody's cell phone, maybe. I don't know. Is Naomi talking? I have no idea. Yeah, she was trying to. Okay. Um, I heard yeah, hello. I hear you va va vaguely, faintly. I'm going to try to call in, So can you hear her? Or? No, I can't hear a thing. So then I'm gonna send out. I'm gonna send out an email. So somebody else want to talk? So are we? You want to continue with a lot of people seed their time then? Members of the public, the gallery session. Yes. All right. So is Naomi's not gonna speak. She can't at the moment. Well, we can't hear her, so she we could always go back to her. Okay. So does anyone here want, want to say anything? And now they can hear us. Well, I think we should clarify what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, Miguel had a good point. Uh, Oral, you, you said it. Why don't you come up with the motion? Oh, okay. you see the time. You see the time. You can see the time. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, but you're an echo. You're echoing. That was a flaw. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Everyone, please mute yourself. Don't have to. It's, it's she's on twice. Places. That's why that's happening. She's on twice. That's why. So somebody's on in two places. Okay, Oral, go ahead. Okay. Can you hear me? The person who's on, if you turn off your computer, and you can't have the phone and the computer on the same time, that gives an echo. But anyway, the uh, motion would be to the initial speaker, right? Can get and hear him. Can you hear me? Speak up a no. little more. Oh, really? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. We got it the first time. <laughs> Let me try to say it the right way. So the initial speaker, right, is allowed to get one concession from another person only, just one. The initial speaker. If another one comes comes up there. That person is allowed for the same thing. So the initial speaker can get one concession from someone who volunteered their time. For the remainder of time of that time, right? For, for the, the remainder, remainder of, of that, that. For, for the remainder of that time. Follow me. Does everyone follow me here? So if you have two minutes and someone wants just just as an example, you have two minutes, someone wants to concede their two minutes. So you have four minutes, but that's it. You're limited to that four minutes. Just one person conceding their time limit. And that person who concedes cannot talk after that. So I wrote the motion down as <laughs> motion that initial speaker is allowed to get one concession from someone else who volunteers their time for the remainder of that of that time. Yeah, and that, that person time. cannot, that person who who 
Voluntary time. the time is not okay. cannot, eligible, to eligible to speak. Not eligible to speak. In like plainer language, if I might, sure, just might be to say you may only be seated two minutes of extra time. Okay, that's that's even easier. Well, once what everyone is a limit. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can you yeah. can make it clear. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hold, just, hold on, let me clarify that the bylaws allow, I believe, for the board as a whole to waive the time requirement if it so chooses. Like, say there's something that you really, really, really think the whole board really, really thinks they need to hear more of. I believe we can, the board as a whole can decide to allot more time to that one person. Correct. Can I speak now? That's a separate, but yeah, that's a separate, separate issue. That has nothing to right, do with that's a, Jeremy, that's a separate issue. Separate, I think. Uh, Veronica, you want no, to I mean, Veronica wants to, um, Naomi wants uh, to speak. Sandy, you're going to, uh, Veronica's going to read the motion now. So now if we do it, um, incorporating Miguel's, we can put, you can only be conceded 2 minutes during. We could put 2 minutes during. 1 meeting, I guess, or during the current meeting. During, meeting. Mm -hmm. during current meeting. Yeah. And that the person seating the time is and not. Yep, I want to say something. I want to say something. Hold on. We're putting wait, together wait, the motion. Wait, and wait then the motion is made and then it would be open to discussion. And person conceding. And this is this not goes. She's made at her computer. Oh. Ah. Okay. So that is the paper. <laughs> Thank you. So the motion is you can only be conceded two minutes during during the meeting and person conceding cannot speak after. Okay, um, so that's basically this, the motion. I'll second that motion. Is there any discussion? Yes, I would like to discuss. Yeah. Oh Naomi, let me just say one thing first, if you don't mind. Everybody, I've been getting it wrong all this time. It is Naomi, not Naomi. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Naomi. Naomi. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, so my issue is I don't understand why we're basically changing the rules of, of our organization to concede for people to see for someone else's time. I think that you should be you should speak for yourself. Because you're basically you're saying this this person I'm taking this person going to take my time and basically express what I'm saying. And I don't think that's the right that I don't think that's the right thing to do. And I think that there's plenty of time to speak. When you're called on, because everybody knows the rules before they come. So why are we doing this? That's what I'm trying to understand. Well, so in some cases, and again, this is this is what's been happening. In some cases, someone has something to say that may take longer than two minutes. So uh, we don't want to make it such that the person can have 20 minutes, but we figure if they need extra time, somebody who's with them can turn around and say, look, finish your thought. You have my two minutes and you can finish your thought. And this way they have four minutes to make their make their point. Right, but I feel that the, the, the person who registered should be the one is accountable for speaking. If you if a person wants more time, then why don't they we have something where they apply for more time, which is maybe two minutes more. Well, the person seating the time has to have registered to speak. Right. Maybe just somebody from the audience saying, I, I give it two minutes. Al, if I may, so, I understand what Naomi is coming from or where she's coming from. Why can't the person speaking say, may I please have and ask everyone present another few minutes to complete my thought and give them that one time of another two or three minutes? Is that kind yeah. of what you're trying because to say, Naomi? Yes. Excuse me, once I have you a thought that, on that. You open it up for everybody saying, I need more Agreed. time. And now, instead of two minutes, you're going to three or four. Right, but you're doing, Agreed. But you're doing the same thing. <laughs> you're doing yeah. the same thing by allowing someone to see their time. You're right. doing the same thing. No, I, th I, think I, think the motion, I think the motion on the floor is kind of, is going to tighten that. That's what they're trying to do now. They're going to tighten how much time one specific person can allow to move forward their said time so one minute oh. one minute that's it or whatever they're going to decide uh, now excuse me i don't think i disagree that it that it changes things because if you if you the only way you can concede time if you actually are there and have signed in if you haven't signed in then you're not conceding time so the total time the total time that has been requested is static if we if we allow people to only to concede 
and not ask for additional time. Thank you. Yeah, Roger right. McCrossin has his hand up. Yeah, so call her up. Roger. Yeah, I, from what I understand, it's sort of like um, the Roberts rules of orders, where you is the seating time, and we haven't had anything in the bylaws saying you could or couldn't do it. So this is just a clarification. Is that, right. is that correct? Yes. Yeah. If I may be okay. Sandy, okay. we can't hear you. The only other thing is maybe we should change the rule. To three minutes instead of two. That's two. And no. the extra minute Limit the amount of people that sign up. No, because then then what happens is you go, you if you have twenty people showing up that night, you're you're going quite a long time. Two yeah, minutes well, is really usually I, enough time to get your point across. Right. So my my point is Al that if you do this, you'll have 20, 20 people seating their time, or forty people seating their time. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like it's like you know. One, the, the opinion or or whatever anyone wants to express should come from them. It if you have coming from someone else. If you have a meeting, that's going to be 20 minutes worth of speaking time, no matter how you cut it. So if they see time, if they see two minutes, there's still going to be 20 minutes of speaking time. So it's not going to extend the meeting at all. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, then they can just they can just request the two extra two minutes for themselves. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make doesn't make sense that you well, guys are like about, allowing that. It makes absolute, it makes absolute. Can I can I make a suggestion and to see everybody? Um, why don't we just have five people, the maximum of five people sign up for the gallery and that's it? No, uh, people have a right no. to say what they want to say. They do. But oh, we, hold on. I just want to right at, right at, use the discussion. All right. Uh, we'll uh, have a motion. If there's any other any other uh, discussion. I'm going to read the motion again because Cynthia so, provided some better language. That's Grace, but she's not on the board and she's not a committee member. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Veronica is going to read it one more time. So Cynthia provided some better um, language that I didn't think of. So it says, you can only be conceded two minutes during current meeting and person conceding waives their right to speak. So that's mm -hmm. going to be the formal that's motion. Dumb. I like that. All right. We're I definitely started. second. Good job. Anyone, anyone opposed? Right. I so, oppose. Al. One. Al. Oppose. Anybody else? Uh, Al. I I oppose. This is Lisa. I I agree with uh, Lisa. Naomi. I oppose. Okay. Two opposed. Anyone abstaining? No motion carries. Uh, Al. Uh, Al. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. So first of all, I, if I just clarify two things. One, I think Ken. Uh, suggested, I said that the person seeing their time has to be physically present to see their time. I don't you know. That. Person that's has included? to be there and sign up. Okay, just want to make sure. No, no so what, what I said, what I was just commenting on was the fact that since the person has to be physically present, you know, it, it has a definite time limit. That gives you a definite time instead of having saying, oh, we're asking for additional time. And if everybody asks for additional time, why did that person get the additional time and not me? So this, okay. you have a de this gives you a definite time period. Ken, 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 it's limited to the people who registered to, to speak. Yes. So that right. someone else has to voluntarily concede a way of their right to speak. I, I agree with the motion. I voted for the motion. Yeah. No, I just I was just clarifying because then at the end with the recap, I didn't hear that part. One. Yeah, the motion, the motion already passed, so we're uh, we're on to bigger and better things. No, I know, but we want we got to prepare it for the full board agenda, right? Or right. no, it just goes into the agenda. We'll write it up. <laughs> right. And and then let me qual or clarify what Bernadette suggested. Is I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Bernadette. I know of that from Community Board Eight. Community Board Eight is the board that only allows five speakers a night, right? Is that where you got that from, Bernadette? Yes. Okay. But no, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I would love to have everybody speak, but it it will take up. There, we could have like 10 to 15. Uh, people, and they should all have the right to be able to speak. But if we're having issues with time, then we need to revisit that. Well, it depends if we have 30 if people, have then we limit it to 1 minute, uh, 1 and a half minutes. So we have to give the community a chance to speak. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I agree. I agree. So. 
you know, let's see, let's see how this, let's see how this works. Probably works better than it's working right now. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, let's go. All right, so we'll continue with the gallery. I'll, I'll touch that up once I get more. So we are, there are four proposed bylaw amendments. I know, I know there are three that were more or less solidified, at least in what the proposal is. Remember, these are not being voted on. According to the bylaws, they just have to be announced. Um, and then Naomi, I didn't hear back from you on this last one. Um, I don't know if uh, this is what I typed up based on what I received before initially, but I know Bernadette then made the suggestion. I don't know if you want me to zoom in on that, if you can see that well. This fourth one member is excluding. Zoom in a bit. Yeah. That's how I. Oh, okay. yeah, that's what, yeah, that's, that's correct. That's what I'm proposing. Okay. Were there any suggestions about amending the proposal or no, that you want to keep it as is. Um, oh, well, that's for Naomi. I had made. I am here. You had, had made Bernadette had added to, to that. What's that? I, I think Bernadette had added to it or made a proposal. Well, yes, I did. I did add to it. I did add to that. Jeremy it was in the email. Um, yeah, no, I know. Um, so maybe I, I, I think that would be maybe a separate motion or did they conflict? That's the, I don't remember. It was. They're conflicting. They didn't conflict. Okay. It, it didn't conflict. It was just, um. The amount of time, et cetera. Um. Well, they don't conflict if, because I think Bernadette, you proposed that they're pointed to three committees. Excuse and then, me? Oh, no, you said three to five, right? You proposed three to five appointments? Right. I don't remember. What. Okay. You're correct, Jeremy. I was on that email also. So I could, if you want, Bernadette, I can, if you want to propose that, I could just put that up there as number five. Because that would, well, it's conflicting. I think it's just easier to, unless you don't want to propose it. Um, yeah, I would like to propose that, that there, I mean, as my email. That yeah, I I'll, I'll, I'll type it up based on, I'll, I'll confirm right. with you, make sure it, the wording is right. Okay, so. Um, I'll make it number five. Um, yeah. All right, I said, yeah, I responded to you with the email. So what I, what I said in the email yeah. is uh, 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 maximum for the board members to be able to join minimum three, maximum four. And as far as chairing a committee, I agree the cap should be to two committees. I'm chairing a committee. Uh, yeah, yeah to be, yes, as far as chairing a committee, yes. Uh, one question, does this, does this count include the leadership committee? Because that's a mandatory committee for for chairs and co-chairs. Yes, yes, this is for all the other committees, obviously. No, does it, it doesn't, no, does this count does not include leadership committee? Yeah, that, that's a great question, Ken. That's the question I have for this, yeah. for Naomi, Naomi's uh, proposal as well. Yes, it does not include because you have to go to leadership. And you just have okay. representing your committees, so you have to go, you know, you, you, it's something you have to do. So, so then, so I'll keep it as is excluding leadership is mm -hmm. what I'll add here. Okay. I have a question about the number 2 1. So, there's no input from the chairperson on who's being put on committees. I understand yep. that the, the committees themselves should assist it, but there should be some kind of input from the chair. Yeah. Well, I, I can tell you right now, the way no, Bernadette's is, been doing it, she's been doing is, it that way. There's okay. there's other proposals that will be discussed discussed with regarding these are proposals right now. They're not really for discussion right mm -hmm. now. They they're gonna be in the my chair okay. my chair report and then they will be discussed in the bylaws mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. the bylaws committee will and then after that we'll be in March we will vote on it. Okay. Okay. So these are all proposals, okay? 
So they are not being voted on tonight. They are not being discussed tonight. And why is it taking us so long? Let's just read through it. Let's get going. Yeah, yeah. so that yeah. It, it, it's, it, it will be discussed yeah, yeah. in the bylaws and as David said, as David Levin had said, okay. uh, as per our bylaws. <laughs> Okay. But before we yeah, so I um Jeremy So I'll make right as proposal number five and yeah, go ahead. I just um is there a number one that, that I'm missing? Uh it's change the two year restriction for officer positions uh from two years of membership to six months or one year. So currently to run for an, an officer position, you have to be on a member of the board for two years. And I think that's to the idea is to reduce the uh, amount of time required for that. So that makes sense. Uh, makes sense to me, but I don't. Um, so where does again? The, the, the announcement we, we, we'll we we'll be talking about. Yeah, we'll, we'll discuss it at bylaws, like uh, Bernard or somebody said. So we really don't have to discuss it now. No, I just I just like clarity on things that I don't understand. No, no, no. Completely. It's okay. So I, I mean, I could. As far as as far as change to two year restriction of officers from two years of membership to six months or one year, um, this would this would assume that someone already has a position or no. These are these are these are your election. You can't right. you can't go back and, and change what what we already have. Right. This is for moving forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's move on, Jeremy. Yep, all right. Uh, I make one suggestion. Uh, next time we have a meeting, could you please have paper copies for the people that are in person? This way we have paper. And yeah. Papers. It's very difficult for some of us to look at the screen. Well, so yeah, I forgot, we forgot to print them. Normally we do. Um, I mean, Veronica can print more right now if she wants. I mean, if that's not, you know, too inconvenient. It's okay. Okay. Uh, right. Time we can. Yeah, no, we, we totally should have done it. Harriet did it last night, you know, even though I was in the office, I told, I just forgot to ask Chris to do it today. Um, all right. So treasurer's report, secretary's report, draft minutes. We have the minutes. They got to publish them. Um, foil request. This is. Oh, yeah. So this is also on the agenda. So we had a ton of foil requests currently. Um, I. I need to respond to them um, legally, um, and it's just it, the time. Like, like yesterday, I had the goal of going into the office and train Harriet on how to assist me with these. Um, except for you know, we got sidetracked. You know, oh, we got the minutes for tonight tonight to publish all this other stuff. So, I was thinking maybe we can. Consult somebody to contract, maybe and assess, maybe give a little training to Harriet and Chris, maybe, you know, help me streamline my process, which can be all over the place, depending upon what I'm working on. I mean, I don't, we don't have to uh, contract anybody, whether it's an attorney or some other like expediter, so to speak, but maybe we could at least explore the possibility so I can respond to. We currently have 14 FOIL requests. I, I suggested, and you know, I was corrected by Jeremy. I would suggest anybody who asks for a FOIL request, give them everything. Give them all our, our correspondence. Let them do the work. The, well, that's basically the request. That you is the request that. of some of these. Some stuff might be, you know. Uh, you do have to go through it because some stuff to be sensitive is to the public. Yeah. Because I would say, give, give, what are we talking about? Yeah. Well, most yeah, because. Board, board, like people ask me for your addresses. They ask me for your phone numbers. I'm not giving that. I'm I'm <laughs> that's why you mentioned that, Jeremy. And that's why I stand corrected. I do make mistakes once in a blue moon. I never heard. <laughs> but, but uh, Jeremy, um, and I know, I know. In the past, anything after, if if somebody is asking for a FOIL request and it's going beyond two hours, um, yes, the charge. Uh, you know, at, at that point, they know that it. Is it, it, you know, do they know that they're going to be charged? That they should be charged if it goes. Yeah, they, they, they are prized. They are prized uh, in the current instance. It's just, you know, we have what we had 3 meetings this week, 3 meetings last week. Like, it's just, you know, I have to, I have to divest myself of, of what I do. 
um, and there are reasons for why, like I'm the center, I'm the focal of all of this, um, which we can get into if you really want. But I think part of it is me divesting stuff, pushing more off onto Harry and Chris. Um, not that, you know, they're not doing anything, you know, they clear, I clearly rely on them for certain things, but I could probably rely on them for a little bit more. So that's part of the problem. In my, my opinion. You think we could go forward? But, um, okay. Well, I mean, maybe you can get a couple of interns, Jeremy. Yeah, no, we, we, we've been intern shy since the last two or three that really bombed on us, um, in my opinion. Um, I'm, yeah. I, 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 Jeremy, is there any way that um, with the high schools that we can get some um, some high school students that need to complete community hours? To so, start? so, yeah, because if I don't necessarily need them for FOIL requests, they can work on other things while I can focus on that or help or train Harriet or somebody to help me with the, assist that. Um, in the past, what's worked really well as Burnett knows firsthand, Burnett's own son interned at the office. Plenty yeah. of board members, uh, children, Purdom's two boys interned at the office. They were great. They applied for Yankee awards. They had the parents had nothing to do with the um, had nothing to do with um, their selection and getting those awards. That is an option. Whether you have a child or not, that's of age 14 years of, or older is the legal limit. Or requirement, you have to be 14 or older uh, to intern at the office. So maybe if you don't have children, maybe you have uh, nieces, nephews, cousins, whatever. Um, they could be college age. You know, some of these people, um, you know, former, former, not, not the community board necessarily, but former interns of mine have been, they're currently a congressman, for example. Um, well, so Jeremy, what you can do is you can do two hours worth of work and then charge the person who wants the foil. Whatever their point is uh, for the extra work and hire somebody to do the rest. Okay, so can I ask right, a question? Let's move on. We're here all night talking about this. No, no. Yeah, yeah, but Al, I have something to say. Can, can I'm you sorry. Just give me, yeah, I'm sorry. Just give me one second. Um, so, has anyone reviewed the Freedom of Information Law process with New York City or New York State? Because it says okay. here, not everything you need, you we have to agree to foil. Mm -hmm. So did everybody go over, like, I would, I would like, you know, can we get a consultation from a lawyer so that we can say, we can really tighten this process up? Because not everything should be foiled. Not everything should be provided. Yeah, never, not everything we, is. We, not have, everything. we have the right to do that. We can write a letter stating, we'll give you the f information for X, and we can also write a letter denying um, such information because, you know, to the person's requesting. Along that line, Naomi, if I may say something, why don't we have a list of what can be foiled? Prepare exactly. at first. It. Well, it's not so it's that, not black and white like that though. That's why uh, that's why an attorney who's more versed in this could tell me more of what's black and white versus me. I mean, again, I've done the training with New York State. They they offer the videos online. I've read their website. I, cause I know because I, because I've been doing a lot of these more than my colleagues, a lot of my colleagues, some of these have never done foil requests. Um, but yeah, that's, I, that's I, what I'm asking for. I worked for a health. Well, I worked for, I worked in healthcare for over 25 years and I've dealt with different health plans. And we, when we were doing foiling, you have to be very careful what, what you're submitting. You can't just foil everything. You have to have like legitimate reasons to foil certain information. Well, that's because of also the HIPAA regu regulations. Exactly. And you have to go by that. Yep. And there's some privacy information sometimes on what on what is requested. So, I've had to read case law to figure out what I can and cannot legally give out. Like as if I I'm you know I'm I'm becoming more versed as an attorney, whether I want to or not. Right. I mean I I mean if we can do a consultation, I don't know you know, but if we can do a consultation. He's asking us to be better. We hire a lawyer to consult with. Is this going to cost the, the board money to do this? So it would be something that I think we'd have to vote on. 
you know, basically to hire someone to be able to guide us in the proper way of doing right. foil. Yeah, right, but I, you want to be careful because, you know, somebody available for it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we have enough money to even do that based off of the budget. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, we do. And we have that. So if we do that, yeah, wouldn't the city down. have to agree to it? No, no, so hold on. Let's, let's, let me back it up. And ask for some clarification on foil. Yeah. And and had their attorney talk to us, I think that would be done. That's the best way to do it. This way it's done and taken care of, we'll do it the right way. Uh, people have a right to know, but again, they can't be taking away all of our time either. All right, let's move on, Jeremy. Okay, so we're just, you want me to consult who again? The board president's office? Is that yeah. What yes. Someone in the lawyers, the they have the lawyers. <laughs> I, I, I've already reached out to them about this issue. That's I, I've already done that. I'm well, still waiting. Try again. All right. All right. Okay. So that's, I think the 3 special agenda items on the leadership committee agenda. Let me go back to the full board agenda. So a motion to amend the CB 11 bylaws, the bylaws committee just met and voted. Um, well, 1st of all. Bernadette, I don't know if there's anything else on the chairperson's report. Or Bronca, I'm sure you'll send me the treasurer's report, the draft minutes we talked about. Oral, do you want a sergeant arms report again or no? You're good for now. No, I'm good for now. Thanks. Okay. All right. So bylaws, I do not have the minutes from David yet. So I will reach out to him. Uh, maybe he needs my assistance in drafting mm -hmm. because um, I know some of these were altered or I did delete the last one, the motion to require uh, membership for a chairperson's position of a committee. I know that was removed altogether. Um, I will I will amend this. So then going on to leadership, this is just old from last month. Um, do you, um, so the recording thing we voted on, but we don't need. To, I don't think we need to put that on there. We can talk about it if you want, but to have the recording company come that night, I don't think we could vote on it then and turn them away. Uh, right? I don't know if you even want that, Al. No, on the no. agenda. Okay. Um, and then this is happening so far. The 2 people in the office. That's good. It's been working out so far as far as I'm concerned. Boston road is a land use item, which Ken will talk about. Um, but I'm going to keep it here as a placeholder for I can maybe move it to the agenda. What else did we vote on tonight? Do we have to bring? Oh, the scene of time. Yes. That should come up before the gallery, right? Well, it should, yeah, yeah. That's where yeah. see. Or did you want, or, or, or this is it, it doesn't matter. Well, no, you, d does the board full board need to vote on that? I would think so, right? Mm -hmm. Take the effect. Do it. Because yeah. everyone um, has to be. I mean, it's not bad practice to do it. Everyone has to be aware of of what we're doing. Yeah. So the full board kind of has to do yeah. it, and then after that, we may initiate. But mm -hmm. maybe not at this first initial meeting. Yeah. So then we'll put it at the beginning. Is that okay with you, Al? Everyone else? Yeah, that should, yeah. yeah, that should really be. Um, everybody should be made made aware of that beforehand. Yeah. Before the gallery <laughs> session. But then, but I, but I don't want to make it that moment. From this point on, after this gallery session, it will remain the same as it always has. And then following that, or you want to do it from that point on, where people can start conceding time at the gallery session. And I was trying to say not to have it that moment when we vote on it that it starts the following meeting, following, mm -hmm. following time that we. So not for this. When we vote on it, because it has to be brought in front of the full board. This way, people know. Right? Right? Yeah. People right. So we answer. vote on it yeah. and say, "This is what we're going to. Ha it's going to happen after this meeting. It'll take effect March. Yes. The March it's meeting. Well, why right. after this meeting? Right. Yeah. Why not this I mean, meeting? That, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I don't. I don't want to have to. Well, you have to give. Point. Give me some time, time for them to know. You know. I, you know, I'm, I'm the sergeant. Of the give me some time, Jeremy. I All right. So I see. I agree with that. If, I think everybody so, should know what the new process is or, or what we want to agree on. Yeah, yeah, but are we talking about this meeting or next meeting enacting this? The yeah. following meeting, which will be the following after meeting. The yeah. vote, after the full board meets to vote. Right. We yeah, vote but, this meeting yeah. and it, it's enacted in March. So basically put it back to 
the leadership meeting and we'll vote on it during the leadership meeting. Okay, and I then, just, yeah. No, I meant doing the leadership meeting. Um, Oh, all right. Report. Yeah, yeah. Report. That's what I meant. Yeah. All right. Just uh, one thing that probably hasn't been said yet is. So, I don't think it's necessarily fair to the people who sign up for 2 minutes and only 2 minutes that, you know, somebody else gets to speak for way, 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 way longer than that. Like, maybe 10 minutes. Huh. I don't follow you with that. So, in other words, if somebody if comes to the next to meeting and it's three people cede their time to the same person. No, I so don't. Only once. We no, know our, once. Our, 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 yeah, but, this, but this will be the last time it'll happen. Right, right. because until we vote on it, right. it doesn't go So, yeah. if we're voting on it towards the end of the it's, it's not voted mini on reports, yet. it's going to, if it happens, then it just happens. Right. Then we have people oh, cede. Yeah. But it'll be the last time. Yeah. It'll be right. This will be the last time and then the next time. Right. Yeah. Right. So, I make sure we're clear. Right. Yeah, I mean, and it's on the agenda. So anybody who looks at the agenda is going to know that this is. And this if will be it the does get out of hand, really, the chair can put a stop to it. If it gets out of hand, mm -hmm. the chair can well, say that's it. I will, you know, most people don't point take point advantage. We're beating something that's the first time because we maybe it's the first time. Most people don't understand. Say. They want to get the point across. They'll see their time, and then it's not going to happen unless somebody's looking to just break shoes. I don't think that's already happened, so we don't want it to happen again. Hopefully, it won't happen again. That's the whole point. That's why we were. But since you're seated board now, right? And another person can't proceed again. We're spending an awful lot of time on one incident. No, I just want to make sure. Okay, this is going to leadership. Anything else that we voted on that you voted on tonight, Al? Um, anything else we voted on? No, the videographer we already said. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. So, in terms of economic development uh, motions, I know there are four liquor licenses up. Were they all passed? Do you remember? Yeah, they yeah. were. They were all passed. We uh, reviewed them all. These are we all them all. online. Okay. Uh, we reviewed them all, and um, they were all passed. No objection to uh, to any of them. Uh, two um, two old ones and uh, two new ones. Um, the only one that did have a little conversation was the 900 Morris Park Avenue. We know yes, that that's changed hands several times. Um, when I interviewed the the manager and. and I, I I did that in person, and then they. Yeah, were don't, don't worry about it, Joe. We we know you did your due diligence. I just need to know that they were all approved, right? No objections, or ultimately we're we're going to recommend no objection, right? Jeremy, Jeremy, we have that on the agenda. We're we're just setting up the agenda. Those are the things on the agenda. We're going to discuss it now, and we're going to discuss it again at the night of the full board meeting. So let's not discuss it now. Let's just get yeah. to what well, that's what's on the agenda. Well, right. Jeremy's just checking because yeah, they those got... are old ones, and he doesn't want the new ones okay. on, and he just yeah. wants to make sure that when he puts them on. Yeah, no, I just want to make sure that yeah, everything no, I mean, is... Yeah, jo Joe good. does a great job, but yeah, we, we can just, there were no objections, all four of them. No I will put them as one motion, Joe, and if anybody has a disagreement, we can separate the one out. Is that okay for everybody? That's fine. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right, community development, um, Serena, I know we have a public hearing coming up. I'll put a link to that if you want. I don't know if you saw the draft agenda I did for that. I also, community development. Um, and I don't know if this is the time to mention this, but I would also, well, you, did you put the release register? So is that the hyperlink to, that's the hyperlink to the budget? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, that's from last month. So okay. I had that done in time for the last full board meeting. Yeah, good. Because um, I, I um, no, that's not the survey. The other thing is, um, no, this is the budget register or register budget priorities. The response to our budget priorities. Right, and there are a couple of other things that um are pending, like the survey in Spanish and Albanian. There's also um the um I guess that's I can go back and take a quick look. Hold on, really quickly. No, it's okay. We'll we'll publish it as soon as we can. I mean, yeah, we got to do that. The two two foreign language documents. 
Okay, so before we move for we, we, we move on, I just want to invite everyone here to please take a look at the budget priority request because it's really super important um, for us as a community board to determine what we're going to do next in our budgets and in our asks. So our public hearing is on Tuesday. It's the 28th um, and it's. Um, and 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 additionally, we all have to determine and decide how we're going to um, come to an agreement in terms of what our priorities are in terms of one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Is it schools? Is it transit? Is it parks? Like we really need to do that, and we all really do need to read um, the reports. And I'm trying to get the reports from 21 and 20 so that we can compare and see what our asks. Have been uh, because and how they what their responses and were. if they've even changed. To be most honest. of the time, from year to year, they have not. They have. I know the responses are so vague and that you don't even know. And this is why I'm bringing it up and I'm yeah. mentioning it because when we were completing the budget request, we were we only had two priorities, and based off of the request that I got, and I understood that schools was a priority in this district, mm -hmm. I sure. added that, and that was missing. So Lord knows sure. how long these things. So I'm saying, everybody, please look, and then in the public hearing, please, you know, come join and um, give us feedback and input because as a collective, we have to determine what's important to this community, mm -hmm. one, two, and three, and that's what I want to. Amen. All right, so I'll leave the register requests on the the agenda, and then I'll, I'll link the the public hearing if I get the Spanish and Albanian documents up in time. We'll I'll link that as number three for you then, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. And right. then, um, and then just if you could put the site, um, the, that the, the site visit form is, uh, pending, um, final approval. Yeah. Okay. Where is the public hearing, Serena? Uh, it's going to be virtual unless people want to, you know, come, you know, and... it's the same night as our precinct council meeting. Oh, I wanted to go to that. Yeah. Yeah. I have to go to that. <laughs> Me too. Oh, so it's at nice. seven thirty on Tuesday, the twenty. I know. I know. That's the first flex with it. I'm okay. giving out a special award too. Oh. Then you need to read it. You need to read. Please, please check it out. A cool. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. Beforehand and. And I'll speak with Malcolm and then um, my co chair just to make sure that, um, you know, just to uh, agree if we are going to meet here or if it'll be virtual. Right, because um, it's up to the chair and the co chair or whatever to make that decision. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about the public hearing? Yeah. Is there. A... Oh, I thought you, I thought you confirmed. I thought you told me a while ago you wanted to do. Yeah, too late. Well, but if you want to change that. Because we put it on. What, what was that, Jeremy? I thought a while ago you and I confirmed you wanted it, or maybe that's the last meeting I'm thinking about. Just let me know what you if you change it. I, I do have it set up the draft as holiday, the holiday the remote. Oh, oh yeah, so uh, President's Day or Washington's yeah. birthday, mm -hmm. so some yeah. people may not be able to make it. Well, just if you can not make it, at least give Serena a call and let her know how you feel, you know, mm -hmm. what your what your thoughts are. Right. Especially if she has an idea. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, for what it's worth, Serena, I recommend you stay virtual because the the, what, what it was is the meeting before it was just you and Malcolm, and then the right. next last meeting you had a really good attendance, but it was virtual fully. It was because we weren't sure how many people were going to attend, and we were very thrilled to find out that you know we had um, you know uh, attendance. But uh, yes, we can keep it virtual. We can't do it on Monday because it is a holiday, and then um, because we've also. Um, um, promoted it on social media that it's going to mm. be on Tuesday yeah, so to change it last minute mm -hmm. when it's not yeah. good, would yeah. it work. So, um, yeah, no, we want to hear from everyone. So if you could please just, um, you know, read it. Well, and, well, just, uh, so just remember that you do not, the, you do not have to be present to provide public hearing or public testimony. You, you, if you want to submit it in writing, if you want to do a, a video log, I can come to the office and I'll record you speaking like it's a public hearing if you really want. Please, yeah. I guess we can note that, notate that somewhere there. Oh no. Yeah, well, I mean, I year round, I say you don't you don't have to wait till this public hearing to submit a budget priority request or the right. one in the fall. You know, same same concept. Thank you. Uh, Roger has his hand up. Al. 
I just want to know, is there a quorum requirement for that meeting? Um, it's up to the chairperson of who's calling the public hearing. Um, for my rec to my recollection of the bylaws. Okay. Um, is if the chairman of the board chairperson, sorry, of the board calls a public hearing, they have the ability to make it mandatory or not. Okay. So this, this, there's only two members of the committee and, and. I mean, you, don't, you legally, I, you don't need Malcolm doesn't need to be there. Serena, you need, um. But one of you should be there. We'll, <laughs> we'll both be there. I'm, I'm no, just, I, figure, I figure that I don't have to worry about that committee. I was just Thank making you. myself available. If, if you need a quorum, I can, I can make that virtual meeting on the 28th. Yeah, yeah. No, the only reason, only reason you need a quorum is if the chairperson of the board mandated it okay. of the board. Sure. I don't think Bernadette is inclined to do. Are you Bernadette? I'm sorry. Are you are you inclined to make that a mandatory public hearing for the whole board? Uh, probably not, right? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Can we move on now? Are you, is that okay? It's on to the uh, calendar. It's, it's on to the next. Uh, hold, hold, hold on. Um, what about the rest of the agenda items? Is there anybody? Lisa has something to announce, right? Lisa Soto. But she already announced at their parks committee meeting education committee. I do not have an update on the youth leadership awards. I have to reach out to the New York Yankees. So they don't forget ethics and disciplinary. You have a meeting set a meeting date set, which we'll talk about, I guess, on the calendar. But can you just put it? We'll put it on the full board agenda. Just so everybody knows you're looking at what 3rd, Wednesday of the month. That's correct. That's um, based on the emails that came back to me. Wait, Time. Jer yeah. Sorry, Jeremy, I also have a emotion that has to go to the board. The okay, so I, would just, I just put parks on here. Um, third Wednesday of the month, what time, uh, Naomi? Um, seven. Okay, at 7 p.m. Uh, Veronica, you, I know you've had it, you once said to me about how the means used to meet at eight o'clock. I don't know if you expressed that. Also, a member of the public said something, so I think that I think I knew who that was. Let's talk offline, or you can space that mention that in the gallery if you have an issue with that. But other than that, is that good for your report, Naomi, or do you want to say something else? Do you want to? Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. I just want to also state we're just updating the process. The process is in procedure, so please bear with us, and um, you'll be getting um, notifications soon once we finalize. Okay, uh, housing's not here, to, or I mean, his is not here, Rich is here. It is gonna be a housing and land use committee Correct. meeting um, on the first Thursday, housing and land use meeting. I'll put that on there just so everybody's aware. Thank you. Um, Ken, Ken um, you may have a motion, you may not. You're gonna meet on Wednesday before the full board about Correct. 20, um, 20, uh, Twenty-five, sixty, yeah. Twenty second. Okay. When is the housing? Twenty second for twenty-five, fifty. Twenty-five, sixty. Oh yes, twenty second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I have your agenda drafted. Um, I will send it to you as soon as I can. Okay. Or publish it however you want no to do problem. it. Okay. Okay. So and then unless there's anything else for those committees, Lisa, what was your motion again? Sorry. Jeremy, could you clarify the My motion was to um land use maybe. I don't 20. remember the exact wording. It's in the it'll be in the minutes. I'll make sure I give it to you. But it's basically okay. to um increase um parks patrols. I forget what the exact terminology is, but to increase parks patrols with summer coming. Okay. All yeah. right. So you'll give me the Tell exact me. wording. Yeah, I'll get you the exact wording. Yeah, Sandy. Health. I'm, I'm I forgot. supposed to have a meeting, hopefully, with the whole uh, hospital, uh, health and hospitals, and boost. Remember with John Doyle, we set it up. Yep, yep I sent him. I think I sent him the invited yeah, information. Yeah, you said that did, you I weren't haven't. sure if it would be fully remote or not. That yeah, was, but we got we got notice yesterday. I think right. That, so that'll that be in March, before. and hopefully that will not be postponed. I can. Okay, I'll put it on there. Just so everybody knows. Yeah. Um, Jeremy. Yes. 
once again, housing and land use when? Um, the first Thursday of the month. It's the same as the housing committee meeting. March 6th, I believe, right? Yeah, it'll be announced. It'll be announced at the next meeting. Okay. All right, uh, next week at the next full board meeting. I'll, I'll, I'll get the exact information. So if that's okay, let's just move on, right? Al? Yeah. Sanitation, environmental protection, transportation. Um, meeting in March. This is a meeting in March for transportation. This is with building a big shopping mall. Department of Transportation is coming back to us. They want to come back to us about East Chester Road bike lanes, which I know some of you have expressed concern about. I know the precinct has also expressed concern about, but despite that, I was told recently they're still proceeding uh, regardless. And um, and then the, their, their proposal for DOTs wants a recommendation from us ASAP in March about their White Plains Road parking lot. So maybe it's a maybe it's a, a once what however DOT votes if they vote we take it to the leadership committee for an expedited vote is that okay with you Al and the rest of the board or committee or do you want to bring it up at the board meeting? What do you want? Hello, Jeremy. The board. Yeah, meeting. Rabbi. How are you? So with that meet, they keep on forcing us to say something. Hey, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. But but they want to come back to us about the one issue. And when I know you I think you were away for a little bit. So Christian and I, the, your co-chair, spoke with the DOT commissioner. Or not the commissioner, but his staff. And then we worked it out that they would also come back to us on the parking lot proposal. Okay. So, yeah, ultimately, you don't have to make a recommendation if you don't want to. Just like the the land use application for I, Boston. Red. I still don't know, Jeremy, what's right and wrong with that one. I don't know what's right yeah, and I mean, wrong. I mean, I don't see any clear advantage and any clear disadvantage. And you know, Jeremy and everybody on this phone call, when you make change, people are going to belch. Maybe it's better not to even touch this thing. Or they're going to well, do it anyway. To save time, if it's okay, they will come back to your, your meeting anyway, because I know people are upset about the bike lanes and they can clarify, um, they can clarify it. And then maybe, um, I, I know some members of the public who are concerned about our, our board, and then we can just hear it out one more time. Is it okay, Rabbi? I'm fine. And they're going to talk about diet too? Um, I don't think so. They don't, I don't think they plan on talking about the Bronxdale Road diet. But like okay. I said, what they just said diet. to me about that diet is going to come up from the public. Absolutely. So okay. Yeah. No. They. I have already spoken to them about that. They. 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 They don't care to me. In my opinion, that's that's the sense I got. I'm not saying that they don't care at all in general. They just. I'm just being short and curt about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, that makes sense. Can I bring up something about the transport in uh, transportation? Uh, I don't know if it's yeah. been resolved. Um, we have actually, uh, we have 1, we have 1, um, activity permit that really can't wait to the March meeting. Has that been resolved? Jeremy? Yeah, no, that needs to come up on the agenda too. March meeting, including. Yeah, that's a great point. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, including... because that's something that, you yeah, know, yeah, it has yeah. to be. 90 days and it would have been the transportation. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I understand. Yeah. No, nope, thank you. Okay, so um I also have there's somebody else who wants to have an activity almost on that same day that um and I, I you know I I I'm gonna have to discuss it. I don't know if we bring it up in the meeting, but it's it's gonna you know it's going to uh have the same repercussions because it's not going to be 90 days before the actual date. It happens to be on the same date. So I guess we can discuss so it. I'm sorry, what's the concern, Bernadette? What? What's the concern? Say it again. Can you the, concern is, the, con the concern is that if you have to submit your get your permit 90 days before the actual date, and the per uh, if you didn't submit it, Last, you know, a couple of weeks ago, when there was supposed to be a transportation committee that was canceled. So you're, you're kind of breaching the 90 days. 
Jeez. So I think I think that 90 day thing is from our guidelines. It's not necessarily so we put a further out. I think in fact we request 120 days, but I think this downtown, unless they change it, they only, they only need 60 days in advance. Are we talking um, about like a street permit? Or yeah, no. activity activity permit. Yeah. So whenever I've done that and I do this kind of annually, it's usually 30 days. Yeah, yes. it could be even less than 60. Yeah, I think originally we requested 60 and then we went to 120. Yeah, it, I, I don't think that's a concern. I don't think I don't think it'll be an issue, Bernadette, if that's mm -hmm. okay. Especially coming from the board, they're pretty I know it's 30 days. I know with, I know with the additional 30 days, I know it's 60 days, but there's a, I think the uh, way back we put the additional 30 to have a gray area. Right. So I just want to make sure that people who are interested at need to have that end of June date um, still will not will not have an issue with submitting that permit activity considering they were going to bring it up at the right time of 90 days. Yeah, I, I don't I don't I don't see that being an issue. I don't see the timeline being okay. an issue right now. I know there's concern about collecting petition signatures. Um, I still don't think that's will make an issue much of a difference right okay. now. I just want to just, you know, make it so that, you know, yeah, I think I think we can safely submit a recommendation without incurring without negative repercussions for the applicant okay if that's what your concern is okay thank you yep and, 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 and you can, yeah go ahead that, did mta answer about why no parking lots did i miss that email or they've not answered no but i they are they have responded recently to a request your request to have them come to a committee meeting well my request. Let's put it that way. They, they emailed me something about the overhead, um, the re, you know, they're doing restoration work on White Plains Road or the Dyer Avenue line. Um, so I did ask if they could come and talk about that, um, and then maybe we could talk about this other stuff. So right now they're biting, um, which is a good sign. Okay, but so they're not coming March, right? I would be surprised, and based on what we talked about tonight, I think. You know, we've talked about you got enough to handle that. Night. Yeah, that's why I'm asking because if they come March, we'll be there till midnight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is my March right. date, Jeremy? It's the first Monday of every month, generally speaking. Which oh, is so that's not six. good. That's poor room. We got to move that. Okay. Move okay. it to the week. Move it to the week. That would be March six. No good. Taboo. All right. All right, so we'll, 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 we'll deal with the calendar next. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Um, Jeremy, really think, quickly, I wanted to yeah. ask Naomi something about the ethics. Um, yeah. Did you want us to vote on the manual this uh, full board meeting? Um, that would be great. Okay, so, Matt, can, you, uh, can you add that to the agenda, Jeremy and Naomi? Uh, Jeremy has a copy of it, right? So he could put a link to it. So please yeah, I think it. I already put a link to it on. I don't know if you've edited it since that no. the last meeting where I linked it. I haven't. You know I mean? No, I haven't. I haven't done anything. Miguel, is Miguel on? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's ready to go. Okay. I just I didn't hear you bring it up for because if we have a quorum and vote it out of the committee, it should go to the full board, so it should be on the agenda. Yeah, I mean it's it's. Technically, so it's, yeah, you can do it that way or you don't necessarily have to, it depends, it, but at least the full board should be apprised of what you're doing. Right. And because if, if they don't, uh, yeah. document, it's a little long. It's a great document. So if people could read it before the meeting. That would yes. be great. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Thank you. So this, this is, this is a manual of how the, the committee wants to conduct yeah. its business and. Because yeah, it applies. It would apply to all board members, right, Miguel? That's that's why the full board should definitely be looped in, right? Yes, yes. yes. of course. Uh, and okay. they, it it hasn't changed. So, it it was there was a link to it in the ethics committee's agenda last time. Did you guys make a motion at the last ethics committee to approve it? Or we didn't no? have a quorum. Oh. Can so, we do it we, at the full board meeting? We we yeah you can but why don't we put it out there first and 
I don't know you want to do like you did with the CD and time thing, or you can just well then again there is a pressing time issue here. I know. So I, I'll I'll send an email to everybody. Hey, be aware that members of the board want to vote on this. So what I have maybe tonight, not tonight, tomorrow, I'll send an email with the manual to the entire board and say, hey, please look this over. If you have questions, concerns, please speak to Naomi, uh, Bronco, or Miguel, because Miguel's the author of it, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But, I put some. Th I good? put some things in it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, I, I, I made, I made copy edits too. She yeah. did. She did. <laughs> Okay, fine. Joking, joking. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So I'll put it on the agenda. I'll email it out. Sound good? Yeah, thank you. Sounds yeah, good. That's great. Thank you. you know me? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Anything else for the full board agenda, or is that good for now? Good for now. Then I'm going to close it, Al, and then the yeah. motion we'll we the calendar. I don't think there's anything else. I second. Yeah. And you want to post? Wait, I do have one. I want to add one little thing. Um, would it be so MTA and transit are coming to the transportation committee in March? No, no, not yet. They they're biting right now. They're asking me when their meetings are, stuff like that. So okay. don't okay. don't hold your breath, okay? Because we, uh, I know you know this already, but not everyone does know this. Um, during our last committee um, meeting, we had um, some discussions about um, certain, uh, I guess, renovations and trussles um, and things of that nature. Uh, and so we were hoping to piggyback on that meeting if that happened. So just want to put it out there if that happens that um, the community development um, committee would like to join the transportation committee if possible. And do like a combined meeting. I don't know if this is something that has happened in the past, but you could, you could have it. combined yes. meetings. I've combined meetings with, say, housing development. It can be done. Okay. Or you could just leave it or leave the responsibility to the one committee and just show up. You could do that too. To the who? To but, the one. But no, it's a really good point. What's that? I, I didn't hear what you said. Or you could just leave it to the responsibility of rabbi and you just show up at your convenience. I mean, not to. Not <laughs> right. Well, that's you know not what I, mean? what I was looking for. I was kind of looking for like, um, yeah, no, I'm just saying that's an option. I mean, he's having the meeting fun. anyway, you know, <laughs> a nice collaborative effort. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Join. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm sure rabbi's okay with that. Right. I mean, and just because you brought that up, good point. That you know, a member of the public who is kind of the progenitor of some of that. In addition to Rabbi asking about, he is specifically asking about the MTA stations, the proposed Metro North stations for um, <clears throat> what's officially called Parkchester Van Ness, even though it's really in Van Ness, um, or at least right across the street from Parkchester Morris Park, and then the other two, Hunts Point and whatever. Um, there's no parking lots around those. Um, facilities, and I know the reason why, but we can talk about that some other time. But I'll, so, I'll... again, the motion was made to uh, accept the agenda. Uh, we had a second. Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. We're up to yeah. calendar, there, Jerry. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, I talked too much, Al. Yeah. Somebody, somebody agrees. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, you know, Al, big ones out one of Al's biggest criticisms as I try, I try to help everybody, which is not always realistic. All right. Can everybody see the calendar? This is February. We're going to move to March, right? Hello? Yeah, I, I, I don't see anything. Oh, there it goes. No. I see February. Uh, yeah, it's probably a delay. Okay. So I have to find out when quorum is. March. But only partial. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, it's half so of March. Yeah, no, it, it's half of March. But you can see. I mean, if I if I make it too small, I don't know if you'll be able to read it, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. They're right. No, we'll just scroll through. It's so, fine like that. Just I want to push it and scroll it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, let me yeah. let me let, hold on. Let me make get the. Remember, if you may recall, once upon a time, I screwed up Columbus Day. 
So I remember I look at the alternate side calendar, make sure I get it right. That was Rabbi's suggestion, Rabbi. So I blame you for that. Um, March 7th, I don't want to guess here because, you know, that's when you get in trouble. March 7th. So technically it starts the night before, which is completely understandable yeah, on why he's saying he's um, this is a conflict for him and right. his committee. All right, so why isn't that there? Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's the only holiday I see on the alternate side calendar. Let's not get crazy going to the other holidays, please. So we will move the sixth rabbi to the 13th. I don't know if rabbi's even still here. Um, anybody else? Trans there's trans sanitation. Do you have a guest? Do you have an idea? Roger, um, I, or I think we'd want to have the, the public hearing about the alternate side of street parking. Okay. Okay, so let's let's definitely touch base um, okay. tomorrow if we can. Yep. Uh, make sure we get that done. Education. Um, Tiz is the chair, right? Yeah, I want to try to get the principal from uh, St. Clair's to come to discuss okay. what's happening. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. So an email went out yesterday about the closing of some Catholic schools in the Bronx. Some. So. so if you didn't, Eight, 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 eight schools out of the, I don't know, third school. Too many. Freedom Martyrs. Five schools there. Yeah, it's been a rough couple of days. days. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're all, so you're mostly aware of that, right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I would say um, that. All right, let me share this calendar again. It's good school, so. Okay. Okay, so parks, uh, uh, Brenna, do we have a new parks chair? Uh, that was the other thing Lisa was, I was hoping she would announce on her report. You, you're going to have to send me her phone number because she's not responding to my email, so I don't have her cell. Okay, all right. Um, okay. okay. Please do that. Okay, yeah, yep, we'll do that. Um, all right, so we'll get back on parks. Lisa is stepping down as parks chair. I don't know if she did said in the message she has to jet. Uh, we already talked about housing and land use. Tiz will get back to me on education. Sanitation, Roger and I are going to try to finalize tomorrow. Rabbi and I already discussed, or we well, he concluded that, you know, the holiday. Health and social services, we already spoke about Sandy. Economic development. Chris, we don't have anything now, right? Economic development just met last night. We have only um, one. Executive board. We have only one. one. We received it today. It's like I said, I was okay. Concerned. I'm like, I don't. Uh, do you want to say real quick what it is or no? It's a renewal for which location? Chuck E. Cheese and Gun Hill Road. Okay, Chuck E. Cheese on Gun Hill Road. Okay, so that's a liquor license application. Executive board, I have to review attendance, uh, see if anybody can be brought up. Uh, other than that, you don't need or Bernadette. What do you want a meeting since you're new to the position? Executive board meeting. Do I want, do I want to what? <laughs> an executive board me an executive board means since you're new to the what position. Is it, what is, isn't that usually before the, uh, leadership, the full board? Leadership. 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 Well, we, was, but we weren't doing it, um, for the last few months. I, I think Yahe, uh, didn't feel we needed it. So we do leadership. Yeah. Leadership. Historically, it was before leadership. Sorry. Be historically, it's been before leadership. Which you went back to it. Hmm? We should go back to it. Well, let's let's go back to it. So it starts at six. Yeah, I just um, we'll do you have agenda we'll items back. outside of? Are we? You know, just give me agenda items. That's that's it. Besides, I'll look at attendance mm -hmm. and see if there's anybody that could be, you know, brought up on charges, so to speak, for not attendance, whatever. Okay. So all right. So six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Fully we'll virtual. So that fully we'll virtual. You know, six well. o'clock will be virtual. Okay. Um, Al, you're still going to want yours in person, though, right? And uh, online oh. or hybrid, whatever. You can have it whenever you want. I'll be in Florida for a month of March. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then can we do that one virtual then? It's Veronica. <laughs> or do you want to be, if you want to be there, I just know if, if yeah. Brenna's fully virtual, it's, it might be a little hard to transitioning for. Or I don't know if she has an appointment or something, Brian. At like for six. What what was that again? 
Okay, so you want to be fully virtual, but if leadership's in person, you got to trek over to the or me. I don't know. Some of y'all have trek over the office. I guess. Like, I guess. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. If you board it virtual, you got to rush over here. If if the leadership is not in person, virtual. yeah. So oh, okay. Well, so in the, other words, so in other words, instead just have it in person. Well, no, hold on. The real issue. The real oh, issue so is. Okay. You, hold wait, on, Jeremy. Trying to say what the real yeah, issue. Yeah. The real yeah. issue is me and setup. Like, if there was a problem, like there was tonight, like the wrong link or I, you know, some type of error, me troubleshooting, yeah. I would have to leave the executive board meeting to do that. Okay. Like, so it's kind of hard to do two meetings at once. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. So, so uh, then, then let's just. So, in other words, the question is about having it in person or virtual. Am I correct? We we have it in person, and then we have we continue with our leadership meeting. Whoever is wants to stay virtual, like we have tonight, I guess that would be the easiest thing to do. Whatever is wh whatever it, it really is the most common sense logical thing to do. I mean, well, are you saying you want a hybrid poll? Well, well, since Al mm -hmm. since Al's gonna be in Florida anyway, yeah. if you can join us, we can just so do it would be a hybrid. Yeah. We could do hybrid, and since I have to go to both meetings, I'll be here to set up the computer. So mm -hmm. if we do hybrid, so, it's going to be an issue. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll try it. Hopefully, we don't have issues. Just do me a favor again. Check the links. Well, see if mm -hmm. it works. If it doesn't, we'll come up with something else. I mean, again, we we triple Chris and I triple check check this stuff, but we make you know we make mistakes too. We're human. All right. Uh, public safety. Uh, remember our agenda next week. We got to finalize that for yeah, next I'll week's have meeting. Yeah, that to you in the morning. Um, okay. Safety that date is fine. Me and Tiz were talking. Um, we wanted to speak to Rabbi. I don't know if he's still on. If he's going to be having Keith Pell, his last mm -hmm. name, to one of his transportation meetings, we'd like to do a joint meeting. Because when we did the walkthrough with Keith Kalb, I asked him if he would come to one of our public safety meetings. Because as you all know. A lot of people have safety concerns about the road diet and everything. And he basically turned around and told me if it's not a transportation meeting, he's not coming. Mm -hmm. So Keith Cal, Keith Cal. when we did a walkthrough with him, he said he's mm -hmm. too busy and he can only do transportation meetings. So if he's going to have a him at his transportation meeting, we'd like to do a joint meeting. So that way, you know, people who come to our meeting are able to ask him questions because there's a lot of concerns about the road dieting mm -hmm. and yes. for him to say he wouldn't come to anything but a transportation meeting is a little ridiculous well, but okay so, so so i'll talk to him about a joint meeting for the 13th is okay. that okay with you and tiz yeah as long as I'm fine, make showing, i don't care okay. okay and then and then serena you just want to do the joint with the mta right you're not you're not concerned about the transportation issues right um, well, I think it all fall. Well, you know, just throw me in. <laughs> I don't mean it like that, but I just think that um, I can go and and we'll I'll attend. And if I have questions, then I'll ask. That's fine. Because yeah, yeah that, it's just DOT about bike lanes and a parking lot, and then yeah. a street activity permit. Okay. Okay. So, so it's up to you. So no, no, it's I mean, fine. I mean, there were there were so many other things that it wasn't just about the trestles. It was about just overall around the vicinity that I thought that it would probably be great, but to to have like a joint meeting. But it's okay. Um, we don't we don't yeah. need to do. Do you want a meeting for March though? I know. I think I we said it's kind of. What's that? Yeah. Right. Twenty eight. Okay. So let me just copy from an old meeting. Okay, community development. Oh. Yeah, the last Tuesday is always recent. All right, so let me see. Um, if not, then the 29th? 29th. 29th? Mm hmm. 7 30? 7 30. And okay. all. Yep. So we're allowed to meet remotely up until the 17th, just so everybody's aware. I mean, fully remote. Because I know some people like to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anything at full board on the twenty third again? Anything else for the no. calendar? Are we, having, are we having anything for land use and, and uh, housing? You said something yeah. about that much, right? But yeah. Yeah. Second. 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 Second at six thirty. Since Cynthia, I think, asked earlier, it's six thirty p.m. on uh, March second. Okay. Housing and land use. So this is HPD is going to come and talk about uh, um, public monies. I think. 
for projects. Yes. Good. So, Jeremy, can you just confirm if uh, Keith Cal will be at the transportation meeting? Because we don't want to intrude on their meeting if he's not going to be there. Mm -hmm. Then we can have our separate meeting. I don't know if he personally will be there. Um, I I can find out. Um, okay. Who will? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, because if not, then we'll leave our meeting for our regular uh, time slot. Or call. And then we only want to do the joint meeting if he's going to be there. Or so, GMT, but we prefer to be him. You need him personally for just because he's on the walkthrough, or no? We prefer him, but if it's going to be somebody from DO, somebody else from DOT, that's fine. But we really would okay. prefer him be there mm -hmm. to answer the questions. So then we'll keep it joint, is what you're saying? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I don't think if he's there or not, whoever he sends can go back to him and tell him exactly, and it'll be recorded. You know. But but I don't know if that's going to be a in person or fully virtual. Rabbi, I think at this point does prefers virtual. I don't. Rabbi, are you still here? Yes, he's still on. I'm here. In person, right, Veronica? You'd want him in person. If we could get hello, him, that'd be fine. We could do the hybrid, but if we do hybrid, Jeremy, the rabbi wants to talk. I'm not stopping him, Sandy. Hello, uh, so, is that it for me? But if you want it in the office, that's also good. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll do hybrid. That's not a problem. Veronica's good about helping me set up. Okay. All right. That's it for the calendar, right, Al? Any no, no, no. On the other committee? Missing ethics. Oh, yeah. So the third Wednesday, which meets the same night as economic development. Right? No. Yeah, that might be problematic in terms of um, virtual meeting. I mean, well, if you're starting at seven, yeah, Chris usually attends economic development, so I don't have, so seven o'clock should be fine if you're doing fully virtual. It's not going to be fine because I'm on economic development and ethics, so I can't uh, be in places at once. And we don't do virtual as a rule. No, you do. You did it last night. We do, you do hybrid. You do hybrid. Hybrid, sorry. Naomi? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was on mute. <laughs> I was talking. Well, this might be an exception. This to might myself. be. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I was saying let's let's um do a sidebar. Um, Jeremy, I, I'll talk to you about it because um this this schedule looks very full. So let me just I have to look at yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we got the if Wednesdays are good, the eighth and the twenty second. Just to keep that in mind. Yeah. Um. Just as there, long as the Wednesday, don't forget. Yeah, yeah, so there's some issues. I'm trying to get make sure that we have a quorum. So I'm trying to get feedback from the committee, and that's not a good date. Yeah. Okay, so we'll talk. All right, so I'll leave it off for right now. Okay. Okay, any other committee then that I missed? No? Al, we good? Oh, Jerry, Jim, the only thing is, Jerry, press that, uh, that commissioner to make sure he's there in person and not send somebody uh, an underling. Mm -hmm. He's going to answer some questions. I, I, I will do my best, Al. And if he's giving you a hard time, then we got to go over his head. I mean, that's crazy. Oh, you don't know people know. I know. I know. If you tell him that third day, he'll be on his butt. Annoying when they say no. All right. Uh, uh, that's it for the. To accept the uh, calendar. I second. Anybody opposed? Any abstentions? All right. Cat pound uh, that passes the calendar. Whatever we're doing, calendar passes. Calendar passes. <laughs> Nick, what time is it? All right, gallery search. Yeah, what time? Oh, that's why we got the gallery. So I see. Uh, yeah. So I says people in person. The gallery Grace session. And Michael. Two minutes, right? Two minutes. So we'll, we'll, we've got the clocks. I'm going so, to. Get Jeremy, it. are we doing in person first or? We're going to be limited. It's oh, well, whoever, raises their, whoever raises their hand, right? It's up to you. Paul Press was first. We're going to have a hard stop in two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, no, maybe. Right. All right, we're going to start at the person first. Yeah, one, I'm two, coming three. up here for speaking. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if, if they're online, they should raise their hand. The yeah. raise hand icon, but I don't see that. So let's just go with the Bob, Bob people. Bob is first. He's on, he's on the board. He's at the back. Okay, I have filed a complaint to Borough President Gibson on words said at the, li at the February 9th Parks Committee meeting before the taping began between the district manager and the Parks Committee chair about myself and another valued member of the community who has filed separate a separate complaint. 
On the video of the meeting, a member of the public mentions that bad words were said about Mr. Press and Ms. Delgado, and they deserve an apology. This was before the meeting while the live streaming was going on. Your district manager needs to have a reprimand, a mark put on his record, and possible dismissal because this is not the first time, nor will it be the last time. As for the bylaw committee meeting uh, this past Monday, I believe that some changes cannot be made or enforced. A 90-day probation period should be enforced by the borough president. Uh, placement on a committee that they may not have any intent in serving on because you have to put down what committees you want to serve on your borough president's application. And when you say that you must attend three of those committee meetings in a 90-day period, uh, the only education had nine agendas, and this is for the period of the last year, from March 2022 to February 2023. Uh, education had nine agendas, housing and economic development had five agendas, environment, sanitation, health and transportation, four agendas, ethics, five. parks, three agendas, uh, plus some of those meetings were canceled. There are no minutes to you know that equal that on the board, plus you don't have any district service cabinet minutes for the past two years on the, on the website. All right. I mean, at least have a link to the videos on the website. If you're not going to put the committee meetings up. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect timing. Excellent, Robert. Whenever and Diana's up to bat. Go ahead, Dan. So it's been exciting to see how many community members have been attending the committee meetings because they're online. It's a great opportunity to reverse the perception that the board's a small group of people, mostly from the area of the district where the physical meetings are held, who've been on board leadership for decades. However, the frequent practice <clears throat> of canceling scheduled meetings the day or so beforehand is unacceptable and will kill the community's desire to participate. A good number of people plan to attend this month's transportation committee meeting to bring up community concerns and were dismayed when the meeting was abruptly canceled without explanation. Committee meetings are not just about a guest speaker or even a quorum. For example, the ethics committee just had a very worthwhile meeting, even though they knew in advance they would not have a quorum. It's also very difficult when agendas are announced only a day or two before. I understand the logistical challenges of posting agendas on the board website, but the topics of key meetings could be made well known in advance. Case in point, I thought I heard at the last Parks Committee meeting that Parks would be presenting the design for Zimmerman Playground at the March meeting. This renovation is, in, is of intense interest to that neighborhood, including the basketball playing youth who rarely engage with the community board in any way. As you may know, that area has seen a spate of shootings, including fatal ones. Providing the youth a fully functional park and playground designed specifically for them is critical to their health and public safety. Let's not fail them. When we have a BPECA meeting, we post on our Facebook seconds. and page, but also put up flyers, do an email send out, some texts, and word of mouth. Many members receive info in only one of these ways. I hope the social media committee will step up and expand their purview to include this kind of wide, multi-level outreach. I'd also like to know why the social media committee has not held any public meetings and seems to have conducted all business in private communications. I have faith the leadership committee and the board will find ways to make the community they serve more aware of meetings and feel more encouraged to attend and participate. Thanks. Thank you. Jean. So I've been attending uh, board meetings for like, over 11 years now. I have never seen such an aptitude. Let me cut short because I only have two minutes. You're going to have at least 10 people bring up a surrogate to pass on. I can name them off the top of my head right now. You're going to double your time. 10 years ago, we had four minutes. Then it got cut to three minutes. Then it got cut to two minutes. Now we're suggesting only five people can talk. Someone has to do something about the people disrupting these meetings. It's enough. People are tired of coming to these meetings because this is toxic. It's toxic. Board members are more worried about getting rid of board members that don't agree with them. It has to stop because we're at our wit's end. I, I was watching a bylaws meeting and for 15 minutes, my blood was boiling because it was ridiculous. People spent more time attacking each other than talking to each other. And for the record, 
There are Italians, Jewish communities, and Yemenis. We are classified as white. For to engage us into this systemic racism and, and all this nonsense that was talked about in the bylaws committee, I mean, we got to do better because there are people here here to divide us. We are all Bronxites first. And we have to we have to focus on that because otherwise we might as well just stop having these meetings because I don't know anything productive that's exactly. coming out of it. And help the new people that are coming in. And if you've been here for five, ten years, step up, speak up. Because in ten years of these meetings, I've never seen anybody succeed their time five times, six times. The board, the chairman has to just step in and say, no, as they as they could from the very start, when the when the meetings are getting out of order. Because I, I don't know how many more meetings I can attend if, if this is going to go on with this tox, toxicity. Perfect. Uh, you, you know, no, no, you're 60 stop. years old, you're like the most immature person with your side hey. Okay. Gene. Um, was this the first meeting you attended with the bylaws committee? No. Oh. No. This was the, this was the most hostile? I would say. I would say because you had board members attacking other board members and saying that the the the, the motion that was being promoted was because it was a personal target attack towards them. Now you could have a discussion about it, but to but to go, no. So then interpret to me because that's how I I interpreted it. It was it was that, a that motion was, was passed the... because because it was racist. It was a, a racist motion. And that's why the grown adults shouldn't be treated like children, as opposed to it being conducted as the new members need guidance because some of them are just in over their heads. They they they're talking a lot, okay. but they don't really know what's going on. And those some of them seem to be doing the most talking because they're lost. Now, as a as a leader and someone who's led organizations where you have new members that are trying to show that they belong, and 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 I get it. So I'm not criticizing them for that. Because uh, one of the points that were made, they're right. Someone could come in day one, and they're more qualified than someone that's been there for, for 10 years. Absolute okay. fact. Okay, let, but let, most let, of our let, members, let, well, he asked me a question on that on the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to get your... But I agree. I think there were some other times. But it's just, I'm more referring to the last board meeting where mm -hmm. someone was, I mean, they're just playing games now. And they were saying the same thing over and over. And they're doing it on purpose to get a rise out of you. They're filing FOIL accounts, not because they want information, because they're attacking board members. Kenny has been attacked. Hazel's been attacked. I've been attacked. Board members have been physically, verbally, and emotionally attacked throughout the last five years, and by the same person. Yeah, Something has to be done. The same committee? No. No, no, no. Same no, no. board. No. No. Al, General. can I say something real quick? Was anybody on the, wait, on wait the board second, at that meeting? I was. I was. Do you have anything to say about that? I I feel I feel that people were giving their opinions. They were pretty intense opinions, but they were giving their opinions about the things that were being proposed. Whether everybody has a right to give their opinion, okay, and it's a matter of discussing it afterwards or discussing discussing it when you know it it needs to be discussed. So. Um, it, it was a little intense. I was. It was unprofessional. That's the proper word. It was yes, unprofessional. But, but you know, it, everybody has a right to to give their their perspective, their opinion about what's being proposed, whether you like it or not, or whatever. Everybody has a right to do that. And I don't feel a lot of people were attacked. I don't know, maybe something specific, but um, I just feel that there were a lot of opinions. But that's what the discussion is. It can't always be, you know, flowers and whatever. But it was a little intense. But that's okay as far as the opinions. Yeah, I think I think Bernadette, you missed the part where there was an attack about, you know, the board being racist. Um, I think those comments. I agree with Jean. I think those comments should not happen. Um, you know, I'm a person of color, right? I was right there, and I, you know, I was being told I was racist. Yeah, I, well, yeah. So, that, so those things I don't think should be tolerated. I, I agree. Yeah, well, I think there was, yeah. I mean, as far as what was being said in the chat, okay, which I copy and pasted, and I was like, what? You know, I mean, I felt it was a, it, it crossed a line. It, it did, it did cross a line. So 
I just think we're all here as volunteers, but no one is better than anyone else here. We all come here to do a job for the community and what's happening, and it does happen. People turn around and get very explicit about one person or another, and that should never happen. The yeah. board is united. I don't care what color you are. We're here to do a job, and that's what we're here for. We're not here to, to call mm. names or, and, and anybody can have a disagreement. You know, my politics may be a lot different than, than yours. You have a right to your opinion. I have a right, and I have to, have to respect you enough to listen to your opinion. I don't have to agree with you, but I have to have enough respect yeah. to listen to your opinion. And I think that's one of the things we're not doing. People have diverse opinions. That's okay. That's what makes this country great. You know, we may not agree with it, but they have a right to say it, and we have a right to respect their right to say it. And I think that's something we have to learn as a group, and also as people that are listening in or you're know, part of the audience. You're also community members, you're community activists, you're involved in your community to name Paul and to, to nitpick on different things just for this, just because you can. Uh, it's just, it's kind of productive. We're here to do a job. Let's keep our eye on the prize to make this neighborhood and this uh, community board the best in the city. That's what we should be about. And um, I agree with Al, but I do think that this committee should have a conversation without guests. I think they should discuss this themselves and understand that uh, what they're here for and how they should perform. And especially for outside people to come in and, and watch this. If you're talking on a one-to-one -one basis well, someplace, that's fine. You're a committee, right? you present an image, you're supposed to be there for business for the community, period. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe your next meeting should not have guests, but you should have this conversation. Everybody's got to grow up. If I may, our, the the um, the conduct statement that we will be voting on that's in the manual now, it does it does expand the conduct statement that might be helpful with, with regards to this. Well, you that could be voted in next time. But I'm also, as your guide, we have to remember too that that. We do have conduct. We have the conduct statement that's here. The whole thing is when somebody does a breach of that contract, it needs to be documented, especially during a meeting. It needs to be documented and brought up by the chair of that meeting. And because it's the chair or the co chair that say, well, there definitely was a breach of this because um, there, you know, I, like I said, at the bylaws, it was, it was, uh, I was just kind of, I copy and pasted it myself before and I was just like, I didn't, ha you're, you're, you're dealing with a, a meeting and looking at the chat and you're like, what? Okay. I mean, how do we, you know, it, it needs to be noted and, 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 and there needs to be something done about it. But I just have to say something. This is not new overall. The tension in this community and the community board itself. It's not new and anybody that's going to sit here and pretend like it's new and it's toxic because it is toxic. I sit yeah, here probably. and just, and I'm going to, I'm going to have to breathe a little because, um, like just hearing tone is everything. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tone is everything. And I sit here and I've treated everyone with the utmost respect and I could, I will continue to do that. Um, and, um, but when, when people get heated and like Jean, you know, you're speaking like the tone for me was way too much for me as a, as a person, right? Because that just, it, it just, it, it gives me anxiety, right? Because. So, so right now I'm, I'm coming from a place of that, right? I'm just trying to kind of just like, um, because it shouldn't be this. It should be, we all know why we're here, mm -hmm. right? We all are here because we care about this community. And just because I'm two minutes old doesn't mean that I'm new to this. I'm new here. And I said that at the bylaw committee. And even if I don't, even if, even if I'm not here next year, I'm still going to be doing this. You know what I mean? So I really do believe to Joel's point that it's like there's this, I don't know how, I, you know, the, we don't want to air our dirty laundry, but we are a community. So we all kind of talk and, and, and this is where we do this, um, but we got to do better. And I just have to say, and, 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 and it's not just us 
it, you like uh, Al said, you know, we're volunteering, right? But, and I don't know if anybody was around, yeah, this is volunteer, but this is like my second job. You know, like I literally, well, this is not, this is like both of our jobs, right? Um, and I and I and I work really hard to to really just do all of us do right. Um, so I, I'm just gonna say that, and I also have to commend our community. Period, because we have community members outside of this board that are consistent that go to the public hearings. Like yesterday's public hearing, you know, for uh, 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 the Boston, Boston Road. Road. Like I saw the same people, the same people that we all may have strife with. But they're they're yeah. they're they everybody wants the same thing. And if we can just sure. get there, and if listen, if y'all want me to just not do this, then just tell me and I won't do this. I'll sit on the board and I can, you know, give the chair and it won't even be a, a thing. I'm not getting away that easy. <laughs> Why would you think that? Because that's the interpretation I'm getting and I've gotten, right? But I'm not gonna I'm not I'm I'm gonna do the best that I can and I know I have done that. So but I don't want I just wanna be able to just, you know, like I could be having done. drinks. And Jim right now. Let's be fun. honest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what we, we work our way through. And we always have, I've been here for so many years. We work our way through, but you have to get to the get point to where to. you can yeah, you have to get to the point where first your your committee is settled. And you do that by a little conversation. And then you bring your guests back in. And then you're you're settled. That's all you have to be is civil. They so have questions, you have answers, or you work on, on, on the same project together. We gotta do better at that because we're not very civil Absolutely. to, yeah, to yeah, each other. And that's the only way you're gonna reach it. And if we it's have a code uh, of conduct and we based. have to abide by it, or let's just not have it. Not only us, not only the guests, but we no, have to all abide of by us. the same. The right. the code of conduct for everyone, Absolutely. and yeah, the chair and the co-chair should enforce it, but if you're at a meeting and you're part of the board or even Part of the public, if you feel that the code of conduct is being breached, bring it up to the co chair or the chair, whoever's there, and let them know. You know, let yeah. them know you feel that way because it's important. You know, if they maybe they don't recognize it as such, but maybe somebody else does, bring it up to them, let them know. I feel that the code of conduct is being breached. And then from that point forward, it's on the chair or the co chair to enforce it. It's a matter of respect, respecting. Yeah. So, and I have to, I have to okay. respect you. Yeah. I may disagree with you 100%. And that's okay. But I have to respect your right to say it. I'm not so going to call you names or belittle you because you, you're different. Yeah, I know and that's what, what we, that's what we have to get away from. Right. All right. We have to go. So, okay, wait, 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 wait. No, we have three people well, have it. Yes. Well, hold on, hold on. We have people with the raised hands raised. But first of all, I just want to say, with in response to what Veronica just said, we did do that at the last meeting. We just did it way too late. In terms of enforcing the code of conduct, uh, one, in my opinion, two, Ken had his hand raised for the longest time. He is a board member or a committee member, so let's turn it over to him. I don't know if there's anybody else in the public that needs to speak. Um, also, for the full board agenda, uh, our bylaws do require to know the topic of the gallery session speaker. So, Diana, if you know the topic, Bob Press, please tell me the topic. If Ryan Gonzalez, I was informed, also wants to speak, please tell me the topic so I can add that to the agenda. Ken? Yeah, one just that one minor comment. Somebody I heard about that you wanted to have a meeting with no guests. I believe we have to have all our meetings have to be open and the public has to be there, but we may not, it's possible we, may, we can avoid a gallery session. Thank you. Yeah, we could go into executive session, which is what I think Joe Thompson implied yeah, at the end. You know, bring them. You know, go to the executive session, then bring them back in. It's nothing wrong with that. Session. Okay. Yeah. So many 15 so minutes early. Really quick comments. They kind of discuss the situation. Executive session. Yeah. Okay. Before we go to the people with their hand raised or That's wanted to say something. You have one more back here. You have yeah. one more. Effort. No, my, my last comment is that you're right. I'm hearing everyone's, everyone's comment about having respect for everyone else. And if people are doing that, calling people racist and doing things by or typing or saying it is it's wrong. It's a simply wrong. And if you're gonna have that kind of toxic personality, that attitude, we have to do something about that. Whether we document it and I'll go further with it to get this thing resolved, because this has to stop. It really has to stop. Because it doesn't make sense. Everyone is a human being and should be respected as that. Period. 
Chairman, if I may, because Serena says she felt the way, I do apologize because it wasn't directed towards you. It's just that being my politics and my beliefs, I am I am literally physically threatened violence, death threats every time I speak at the session. And it just it that's my frustration with it. Okay. Every time I say something, so and then they're criticizing me and they're calling me a fascist and a this and a that. And that's wrong. It's just enough. Okay. It's just enough. You don't agree with me, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, so are we going to gallery session now? Oh, Efren yeah, we're going to the so. Efren Gonzalez the third. I work at Montefiore and Community Board Eleven. I just wanted to stay real quick. The uh, district manager meetings. There needs to be accountability. So I am going to agree with what Bob Press said, uh, and we need to have that so that any conversation that's brought up in that meeting needs to be documented okay it's not about what we didn't do before no just document the thing and don't take things personal i could tell you uh hearing this, this is a very interesting meeting and real quick i'll say if anybody attacks anybody and calls them a racist you're going to hear from me but not here but you'll hear from me out there because i could tell you what racism was like i was one of the first puerto rican families allowed in parchester and i got attacked by whites and blacks in the 70s. I go back. The white hair isn't fake. So what I want you to know is, and I kept per 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 persevering, I get on people's nerves because I document the truth. And I want this board to know, I don't care about your personal life. But if I find out that you're doing anything scuddery, I'm going to call you out. But I'm going to put it on video. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to show it to the people. If you attack a board member, because they should recuse themselves. All I will say is that the chairperson should address that with the executive board. We do not attack a board member personally because of what we think. I'm a labor person, but you know what? I don't want to see that because I don't want them to say that that's how we are here in Morris Park. Okay, that's it. You got it, okay. Thank you. you. Efren, really quickly, do you have the subject that you're going to be speaking at the full board so Jeremy can put it on the agenda? I'm going to speak about diversity that what we need in our public service and from elected officials who attack us. We don't want you to get out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so I'm going to limit this two minutes again. Yeah, everyone. two minutes. All right. So everyone, please know two minute limitation. So it, are we going to go to? Yeah. So there's nobody else in the room that wants to speak. No, so Grace had her hand raised first. Okay. Mm -hmm. on the, online. I'll give you 30 seconds. Good Grace. You're on. Grace, I pause you. Wait. Yeah, go ahead, Grace. Okay, there. Right. There it goes. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, I got here a little bit late to the late, so um, I was just wondering: Is the twenty five sixty going to be on the agenda again? Because you guys did not really vote on it. Bronx, but uh, twenty five sixty Bronx, Bronx Park. Uh, I just meal. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, we have, Hello. We have, a, yes, we have a land use meeting on the twenty second, scheduled. It will the about then will hopefully be published tomorrow. That project. But was that ever voted on? No. Boston Road. No. So yeah, they well, not it. not successfully. Right. So it will be on the agenda then. No. Don't they have well, to revisit well, it that? It depends on what hap It depends on what happens in land use. I mean. Right now, it's not on the full board agenda. It depends on land use, right, Ken? In my opinion. Can you explain yeah. that? Yes. If land use says what? Well, they'll Who they'll provide some type of report to the full board. Whether they have a motion to provide is a different oh. story. Oh, 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 okay. All right. All righty. Thank you, Grace. Okay, okay. Bye, all you racist. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys got to lighten up a little bit. Uh, so the, I thought it was a very interesting meeting as well, but, uh, I understand what Jean is saying, but there are certain people, sometimes people are so frustrated because like Jean, I've been coming to these meetings for years as well. And it's frustrating when th frustrating when this, it, nothing seems to change. That's the problem. People get frustrated with that and it gets, it gets you after a while. That's all. So, you know, gotta have a thick skin if you're going to be in that position. That's all I'm saying but some people have that more respect for everyone so yeah. that, that works too okay that's it thanks so thanks. Then roxanne delgado had her hand raised i believe 
sorry, I just joined the meeting. But I like to say I'm quite surprised that I was at the bylaws meeting. I don't call anyone calling anyone racist. I will have to listen to that video again. I do recall myself stating that one of the proposed bylaw changes was systematic discriminatory. And I think that's not being racist. That's just, that's calling out when there's being procedures that will keep certain um, new members based on demographics, based on ideology. There's nothing wrong pointing out when that's when the rule change might discriminate against someone. I would think that would be something that would be welcome if you're making you would like to be more inclusive of the board. It's very it is very frustrating because when I hear certain people complain, the same people that hold Trump rallies, same people that hold Proud Boy rallies, same people that are proud to be politically incorrect, are so frustrated that someone's saying things that they don't like. This is a free country. No one call anyone racist at the bylaws. I would recommend all those repeating that false narrative to listen to the video first before you make repeat lies. I think that we need to be respectful of each other. It's hard to respect a board member when they behave atrociously and they want to retaliate against you because you're against the status quo. Like I said, I actually had someone hold a Proud Boy rally just two blocks from where I live. And you know what? I didn't bother to go to a rally and assault that person like they did at my rally. I said, you know what? It's a free country. Let them show people who they are. Some people will agree with them, some won't. This is a free country. And this is why I'm a very strong advocate of the First Amendment. So I think we need to be very, very uh, careful when we make false accusations and we need to be not, not be so offended or so angry when people are attending the meeting and saying things that they may not agree with. And second, I don't believe, I had actually three people who joined that meeting so they can see time. I don't know why you keep trying to shut down people from expressing their opinion. At the Just Home, you see, you gave that guy, Robert Comp has 20 minutes, over five board members seated their time to him. And no one had any, op, no, no one had any issues with that. But okay, two time is three up. members seated time Roxanne. with me, and that Roxanne. was the issue. Roxanne, Roxanne time is Okay, up. I'm Roxanne. stopping. Calm down, I'm stopping. I ended my, I just ended, it went over two seconds. It's okay. It's okay, thank you. And Robert didn't have 20 minutes. Malcolm. Uh, yeah, Malcolm has his hand raised. Yes. Malcolm. Two minutes, perfect. Yeah, I mean, I was at the last meeting and personally, I didn't say anybody was racist. All I said was that, you know, the insinuation of the lack of competence or the lack of experience towards me in any type of way as a young man of black man of color is racist. I mean, I think that everybody on this board is upstanding people. I wouldn't call you a racist unless I feel like you've done something racist, you know? So if you took it that way, then I apologize, I guess. Um, but, you know, me, and I'm sure everybody else definitely want to have a more inclusive board that responds to the people of our communities in a more inclusive and collaborative way. Um, you know, we're in the middle of Black History Month, and I'm sorry, but I haven't even seen an acknowledgement of Black History Month so far from our board. You know, and to me, that's a really big thing. You know, if we go, if you go into Italian History Month, we see that acknowledgement. But I haven't seen that for my own community. Um, I think that my vision is to, I want to see a more, a board that is really engaged, interactive with the communities that are around them. And to, you know, stop the clickish, the, the clicks and the groups that exist already. You know, I think that we should, we could do a better job in, you know, becoming more of a community and more of a melting pot than what we are now. That's it. Naomi, Naomi. I think that's it for the gallery then. No, no, Naomi. Naomi. Naomi has her hand up. Naomi, you're next. Yep. I mean, you're up to you're up to um You're the last one. Okay. I just want to oh, no, she's a member of the committee. Remember, she's the ethics chair now. Okay. Oh, so I can respond. But no, you can you respond can. as much as you want. You're not limited, like the gallery is. Um, Sorry. I just want to quickly say, um, you know, I, I understand both sides and what people have expressed today, but all in all, people have been very disrespectful to uh, to the community board. Um, in my experience, I've been here three over three years, I think, or three years, and all I've seen is very disrespectful um, conversations. So I do agree with Jean. Like it's like it is toxic, and it does make you feel you know, like giving up. <laughs> and I think that um, we need to be a part of the resolution, not be the problem. Yes, 
you are more than welcome. I, I've said this in my meeting. It's freedom of speech. Yes, but there's being respectful in a community environment. Be an example. Do not be a part of the problem. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. So, um, okay. um, is there any other? Bernadette. Oh, Bernadette, go ahead. Okay, I just, um, I'm just going to make a clarification. I always like to clarify because when something is spoken to, you've got many people have different perspectives. We understand that. So, not everything is going to be agreeable to everybody else, but I wanted to clarify something from the bylaws um, and it will be discussed is the, the guide for new members. Okay, which would include. Uh, options to welcome new members, the intention you always need to check your intention. The intention was to be a helping hand. It was not to actually say that it was very needed and necessary because new members just, they just don't know it. It was not that intention at all. And I, I, there are some people, and trust me, there are some people that jump right in and they got it. And, and that is wonderful. And if a hundred people could be like that, that would be a, that would be great, but that's not the intention with everybody. There are some people that do want to get a little bit more perspective. They kind of want to know the history of things. They want to know, well, what do you do in a case like this? It's also, it was just an, it's a new guide to help new members, but there's an option to say that you don't want that. And that's cool. And, it, and there should always be an option because not everybody is going to handle the situation the same way. Some people will welcome it and some people will say, no, I got it. And I think that was the whole intention. Remember, it was the intention, the perspective of what everybody took it. Um, I think, you know, got a lot of different intention, uh, got perspectives, which is great. But the intention was to actually give an option to new board members that say, okay, if I want to be a chair, what do I expect? Or if I'm having issues, what, what can I, what kind of resolutions in the past have worked? What can we do going forward? It's just a place to actually um, be a meet and greet. And we all know what a meet and greet is. We sit, we talk to each other, we say, okay. I mean, there were some board members that came in 2020. I never saw a face. Because one of the things I see here, I must say, it's a my my opinion. I want to see a face on here, okay? I don't want to see the names. I want to see a face if we got to do things virtual. And one of the things in chair, I was always be ready to be on video, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I want to see your face. I want to see a smile. I want to see this. So you know, that I just wanted to clarify the intention of the uh the new the guide for new members and i i i you know and listening is an art and everybody should be working on it daily okay me included so i just want to bring that to kind of close this whole meeting whatever i just want to say okay. something about the new members everybody brings something to the table yes there are skills that new people have that the new people have that came in here that many members of this board don't have so never feel that you're a newbie but once you're a member of this board, you're as good as the person that's been here for 30 years. Now you have you have something to offer, be, you know, and be out there. Don't be afraid to hold back. If you have something you wish to throw out there, throw it out. May I? Sure. I think I will say I appreciate you saying that um, because as a newbie, yeah. <laughs> you know, and 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 also somewhat to what you were saying about a sort of orientation. Those of us who just walked in here had a orientation on Zoom with the borough president's office, which was tedious and, and had a lot of information. But yeah. we all walked into our first meeting like, yeah. where do I go? Where do I sit? Can I sit here? Should I sit next to this person? And, you know, it would have been nice to have, and it's something that we've talked about before, and even John Johnson mentioned it at, um, right. at, at, so at, it's at an event. It's, it's about having... 
if it's a meet and greet, if it's a mixer, whatever, I think there, there needs to be a moment where we sort of all get together and put aside that I've been here for 20 years and I'm just walking in and who are you, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's time to let go of all the egos and just kind of walk into it together and say, you know, like, I'm going to partner with you. I'm going to partner with you. I'm going to partner with you and you and you and you and you, yeah. because ultimately what do we want? We want to work for the community and we're as a team to do it together. Absolutely. I think what you said, uh, maybe. You know, we'll learn from experience. What we should do in the future is when we get together at the beginning of the year, we sure to get together and have wine and cheese or whatever and sit down and talk to each other. Mm -hmm. If we don't talk to each other, you're right. You come to a meeting and I keep saying, what's her name? I can't remember what I had for breakfast. It was. You know. I didn't know but, the people sitting opposite mm -hmm. me. I've but, never seen so I think, mm -hmm. I think, you know, to what you said, I think in, in September, well, the first thing we should do is get together as a group and either go to a restaurant or sit around the table and, and whatever. Right. And just talk I just say orientation yes. when you I talk to each other. Piece off, right. You should get yes. some kind of orientation here. Yes, here. at the board office. Right. Right. So that way we can, you know, right. everybody can meet. We can tell you what's usually expected. And I also think too, the whole virtual thing, the whole pandemic has yeah. made people yeah. stand off yeah. towards each other. So you see people on isolate. screen, but you don't interact mm -hmm. as much with them because once yeah. the screen goes off, it's done. Right. And I think that's also is part of the problem. And I, for myself, if I haven't reached out to you, I do apologize. But I think it is partly, you know, we need to get used to again being in person and interacting live with each other. Yes, people, yeah, people, people think exactly. Like exactly. The first time I came in, do I sit? Am I going to sit here and somebody's going to come it's in and come to get out? Yeah, it's, it's something that simple as that. I'm still and coming into like a, a you know a family, right. and it's it's not easy. Absolutely. But we're trying we're we're trying to come in and we're it's trying funny. to ease our way in. Those that have been here a while forget that. Yeah, we, we went through exactly what actually, you actually. I ago. remember my first day. I'm an extrovert, so I can go in and just blend in. Yeah, but that's yeah. Me, though. Curse though, like that's that. Me. Yeah. I, I, so I never really, I never really noticed it. Like the wine and cheese, but but that makes sense to be more flexible to go from one person to the other. Versus like mm -hmm. at the Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, right, right. Right. you're kind of see. in this, yeah. one. and then you don't know who the person is all the way over there. Yeah. And yeah. Especially somebody like me who has a hearing issue, I can't be talking to somebody all the way over there. Yeah. Unless they know sign language. <laughs> yeah. Miguel, you such Yeah, I just what she said. <laughs> okay, like I was new. You know, we're the same class. Yeah, but it's like for. It's like, you know, we're the class of this year or whatever, or last year. But um, to expand on that is that, you know, obviously I, I knew Bernadette beforehand and whatever, so that was a little bit more helpful. But obviously the pandemic was a problem, but mm -hmm. we got, we kind of uh, sparred with jokes and stuff like that, whatever. So it was like helpful, but it's another thing to look somebody in the eye, literally, Absolutely. you know. Um, but to expand on that, all. Uh, Further is that if I hadn't had Jeremy holding my hand, I would not be nearly as as, as effective as I am now. And I think it's unfair if to throw that happen. on him. That's not his job, right. you know. Had I knew more people, because I mean, honest to God, I was scared of some people. I didn't know how to read some people, you know. And so it's it it would have been nice to have had, for instance, wine and cheese. Everybody likes cheese, and most people like wine. <laughs> And, you know, and then you have one or two glasses of wine and it's easier to kind of peel people out, you know, so I, I think it's great. And uh, as Tiz said, I mean, even even after I had been to several meetings, I like to go to meetings um, at the at the Christmas party. I didn't know who the half the people were on at on the table. And John Johnson was right across from me and I'm on the ethics committee and he was and I had no idea who he was. So it was just, you know, it would be helpful. Yeah. And also, it's also a matter of kind of getting acclimated to the procedure. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, it's like, okay. And, and, and honestly, I got a lot of guidance from somebody outside of the board. See, mm. just, you know, just a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, tell me a lot about little procedural things, you know, as far as that, that I have no clue. Right. You know, so yeah. so if if we were coming up for a vote on something like the first vote that we you know that 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 I was mm -hmm. a part of, um, it was like yeah, 
and and yeah. you know I was like, oh wait, can I can I even you know vote on this or whatever? And then and then that's when it was like, oh, uh, well maybe you need to read, you know, mm-hmm. you need to evaluate whether it's a comp. Da, 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 da. But again, these are all little things that, you know, they're important things mm-hmm. that yeah. I wouldn't have known. And she makes um, a good point when we have board members, yeah. if we come in their first meeting. We could have like 10 different motions and yeah. they have no idea how right, to absolutely. proceed. Right. Mm-hmm. So after the, the board members, the new board members join, I think there should be, even at the full board meeting mm-hmm. when we're doing the thing, just an explanation of how the motions right. go. Mm-hmm. That way they know what to do and they know if they should abstain, yeah. if they're mm-hmm. for it, I things like that. Needs to because write it that has down. to be. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny when we used to have our meetings, um, David, I think, would explain what those things right, are. Right, very good. Right. And um, so when we, that's, this is before the pandemic. And so when I first went to my meeting, I just said, oh, can I sit there? I just went there. I, I just adjusted to it. But that's me though. Right. And then I saw how people vote. I just watched them like, okay, uh, I got it. So you just right. adjust. But I think that you're right though. The process of of helping people to right. learn. And, and, and I knew Joe. And I just, and, and Al, first time I came there, I was like, hey, 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 and then he just started introducing me around, but this was before the pandemic. Right. So my first meeting, we went around and talked to I one another. I was just going to say that. We, that everybody had nicer. an introduction. Right. It was, it was, it was a little bit different. Then, uh, but now, now I guess September, because Jeremy, because write this down, wine and cheese in September. <laughs> no, so, but, but this makes, this makes sense now to, um, to do something like this. Uh, but, but, I, but I think it's great. I think it's great. You no, know, I've been here for a few years. Sometimes I don't even know, like, yeah, when, when it comes up to February. things that are getting voted on, yeah, that somehow, yeah. like, the wording may not be right or a situation might not be right. Right, that I have a say of right getting it right. amended, <laughs> and I'm not, right. Right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even a newbie like you guys. Right. Can I just say one thing <laughs> real quick, and then we could, you know, these types of conversations are hard conversations to have, but I think that they're important to yeah. have them. Yes. And I think that we started one in one on, you know, we started from I don't know in one place, and we yes. I think can say that we ended in a in a better. Okay. Or in a good place, okay. and so the more we have that's these open right. conversations, <laughs> you know, right. that's why in person is very good. Yeah, Amen. yeah, I agree. Amen. Okay. But sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, we have virtual. Those, those new people aren't there. <laughs> wow. so Al, do you want to do open? But I'm so oh, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, open is still business. Motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Second. So, okay. yeah. Do I have to sign in? Yeah, because you want to do it. All right, so meeting at 9.18. Okay. Great time, Jeremy. Jeremy, you could have turned everyone. Yeah, so I'm going to stop the recording. Jeremy? You'll be part of that side. But can I get... Can I get your name? But can I get... Can Bob or Diane tell me what they're going to talk about so I can put it on the agenda? Yeah,